my camera a little bit. Hello Facebook. Hi YouTube. How are you all doing? I'm sorry you're a little bit skew with. Let me see if I can just adjust you very slightly. I was just saying to um, our friends here on Instagram that I'm just a couple of minutes late for those of you who are uh, watching me live because uh, I'd set up beautifully in the garden outside with a lovely view of Mount Kenya. I thought, well, it could be nice for a change, be out of my bedroom. Um, and I just felt the first spot of rain and I can hear the thunder. So I'm hoping that we don't get rained off. Hi, Rachel. Rachel from Liz Our Wellbeing is with us on Facebook. Um, what we can do on Facebook, obviously, is put all the live links to everything. We can't do that on Instagram, but you will find them on Liz Our Wellbeing, and we'll try and be as clear as we can to mention everything. Now, have I got this right? And you have to excuse me, because I'm a bit out of the loop here in the wilds of Kenya, and I don't get the news, and I don't get you know anything, really. But my diary does say it's St. Patrick's Day. Is that right? Am I going to be right in wishing everybody um, a happy, happy St. Patrick's Day? I am wearing green in honour. And also because we're going to be talking to Dr. Seaweed. So I thought I'd try and find something that looked sort of as, as seaweedy as possible. And I have my green shake. How green is this? Mmm. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Lisa, for, uh, for confirming. And I know that everybody always says, what goes into my green shake? And do you know they're kind of different each time? We have got some recipes on Liz Wellbeing if you want to make green shakes. This one, I was traveling recently going to see various projects. And I thought, well, I want to take green shakes with me. So what I did was I just got a little pot like this. And I put all my different powders in here. So the green is actually chlorella, which I really like. You can use spirulina. They're both algaes, um, single-cell algaes. Chlorella I like because it has more of the available omega-3s. It's also got more vitamins and nutrients. It's got lots of zinc. Um, it's, yeah, it, it's a really good plant green, basically. Um, I don't use spinach or spinach powders, as you know, because spinach is high in oxalic acid that can leach out minerals from the bones. So I tend to try and avoid greens that contain powdered spinach. Not always easy. So I prefer to use chlorella. Um, you can also probably see in here little kind of white bits where it hasn't mixed in properly. Whoops, just dropped some. Um, and those are things like um, probiotics. I use the Bimuno powder. I put in some protein powders. I like the Indie supplements, the Indie mind, Indie body, all of that. So kind of whatever there is around, I just chuck in. I've got some turmeric in here, some black pepper. And then I just keep that. So whenever I'm going off on my travels and I can just shake that, you can just shake it in a jam jar or you know a shaker bottle with whatever you fancy, you know, milk or a, a substitute or whatever, juice, water, anything really. So there you go. So that was it. The other bit of green that I wanted to share with you, and you may know all about this, but I discovered it here, and it's dishwashing paste. Okay, this is the one that we buy here in Kenya. It's called Pride, and it is the most fabulous shade of green. I dread to think what colouring they've used in this. Look at that. Whoa. That looks like kind of my kids silly putty stuff that they used to play with when they were little or play-doh smells really good it smells of lime i'm sure it's unbelievably synthetic uh, but anyway it cleans incredibly well so i went online and i looked and there are all sorts of kind of eco cleaning pastes that you can buy in the uk and i don't know about you but you know i always use eco-friendly washing up liquid but to be honest they are sometimes not that effective at cleaning uh, well, this seems to have good ingredients, actually. It seems to be pretty eco from a kind of credentials point of view. Obviously, it's highly concentrated and it's quite a small pot, so you're cutting down on single-use plastic as well. You could obviously recycle the pot and use it for other things. Um, and you just, when you use it, you just get a cloth or your little kind of squeegee and just pick up a little bit of the paste and it cleans everything. It's extraordinary. Um, you know, everything from really bad pans to makes glasses sparkle, all of that. Um, yeah, a couple of people are just saying, I think, yeah, it's, uh, I have seen it online. So let me know if you've tried something similar. Oh dear, do you hear that? That's the wind getting up. I think we're about to have a major storm. Hopefully we'll be all right. We'll just kind of huddle in together. You can't see, but it's actually gone really black. I probably should have stayed in my bedroom. <laughs> 
Anyway, hopefully we'll be all right and the power won't go off. Um, let's get going and talk to Dr. Seaweed, shall we, just in case. I have got other things to talk about, but I'll save that to the end. Mm, yeah, it's quite blowy. <laughs> so think about live broadcasting, isn't it? Uh, anyway, I'm sure we'll be fine. Let's just keep calm and carry on, shall we? Um, is spirulina as good as chlorella? Spirulina is good. When I analysed them, I found that chlorella was better, to be honest. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you doing? Good. I could really hear the wind picking up then as you were. As you I were know. I, th I think we'll be okay. The only thing that will get us is if it knocks out the satellite dish. But, you know, oh, well, fingers crossed. crossed. If it's not the monkeys jumping on the roof and adjusting everything, it's it's the weather. Yeah, these are problems that I could never envisage discussing. Mon <laughs> monkeys jun jumping on your roof. I know, they're real pests. You know, the funny thing, um, I'll just tell you this as a quick aside. So monkeys um, don't like snakes, okay? So okay. when we had problems with lots of monkeys coming and jumping on the roof and, and adjusting the, uh, the, the dish to get internet, we thought, what can we do about this? So we went to a joke shop in the UK and we bought a whole load of plastic snakes and we glued them to the roof. So the monkeys would then take one look and go, oh, there's a snake on the roof. I'm not gonna go and play on that attractive looking satellite dish. And then it stopped working and we couldn't realize why. And then we realized that the fish eagles up in the trees love snakes, they eat snakes. And so the fish eagles would come down and they would grab hold of these plastic snakes, pull them off the roof, and then, of course, they'd take them away and very quickly they'd realise that they were plastic and they weren't actually worth eating. And then they'd drop them. So we'd have our garden full of these kind of plastic snakes and we'd have to go up and re-glue them. Anyway, there you go. That is sort of one of the adventures of, uh, of living out in rural Kenya. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Very different from where I am. And, but it's a beautiful sunny day here. So where I, are I'm you? In the northeast of England. Okay, you're I'm northeast. In Whitby Bay, which is, yeah, yeah. So right next to the beach. This morning was like glorious sunshine, oh. flat blue calm sea. Um, Amazing. So I sort of feel our weather patterns have swapped because I imagine yeah. Kenya to be beautiful, constant sunshine and here no. wind and cold. And how yeah, very lovely. So uh, are you there because that's where you find lots of seaweed? No, I'm based here because I live here. Um, and actually all the seaweed comes from the Isle of Lewis up in the Outer Hebrides, which is, well, the best place in the world for seaweed. Mm. It's stunning. You've got massive coastline or sea loss. It's pristine water. And the, the factories there, it's where the harvesting is done. And all our equipment is up there for the, and we can go into it a bit, but it's essentially wild harvested sustainably. Mm. It's very carefully dried and then it's milled into a powder so it can go into the capsules, which we'll come on to. Yep. But that is the best place because seaweed grows all over the world, but yeah. the water quality is integral to that. Ah, and nutritional okay. products have the safety as well. Yeah, yeah, of course. So we've spoken many times, but for those who haven't, um, and are perhaps tuning in for the first time, and I know that you know the, the audience here is growing all the time. Would you like to talk a little bit about your background and how you came to be Dr. Seaweed? <laughs> yeah, registered trademark. So basically, I'm a marine biologist. That's that's my background, and I I've done it for a long, long time. And um, I started working with seaweeds. Really, seaweeds one of the only things that sort of ticks every box when it look when we look at what we need in the future. So uh, when I started working with it, it was on uh, biofuels. So how you can use seaweed to make fuel in a sustainable way? Wow. People looking for biomaterials like bioplastics textiles for clothing but the real area where i saw huge opportunity and need as well was health and nutrition because mm. seaweeds are what we call it a forgotten food it's something we actually all used to eat every culture around the world at some point and there's a lot of research yeah. done that showed uh, about two and a half million years ago having as we were hunter gatherers getting seaweed in our diet gave us nutrients we didn't have before and it led to the evolution of the modern human brain and that those nutrients wow. stay essential today so it was about how do we take a sustainable resource and what's the best way to get people to really benefit from it mm -hmm. and address what is a massive nutritional gap in our diet 
I know that this is going to be an absolutely fascinating conversation. And, you know, one of the things that really struck me when we spoke before, we'll talk about the nutritional importance of seaweed, but you're so right. You know, when people think about seaweed, you, you know, if you're eating it, you might think, well, I'll sprinkle on a few nori flakes or a bit of sushi, you know, that kind of thing that has, has that lovely crispy green seaweed wrapper. But you said to me that seaweed is really one of the only truly sustainable crops that we kind of grow if you like because it grows naturally in seawater so it doesn't need any fertilizer it doesn't even need soil i mean it need, yeah. you know it doesn't need farmland nothing and you can just go and you can wild harvest it and you're not denuding the environment because it just regrows really easily and from you know you having that in at the outer hebrides which i have to say i'm very excited about i have it in my diary to come visit you Excellent. Good, good. I it's think stunning. it's in May. I think it's around the time of my that. birthday. It's going to be my birthday treat coming up that to the Outer Hebrides. Be <laughs> but isn't that fascinating that years and years ago, and I guess also for people watching in the UK, you know, uh, the British Isles being so coastal, we would have Absolutely. had loads of seaweed and presumably we would have eaten all sorts of bits of seaweed over the years. Definitely, and, it, and it's not just we ate it, we'd put it on the land for fertiliser, we'd feed it to animals, and it just sort of got forgotten. Um, and the sustainability of it is the fact there's just such abundance. And as you said, yeah. anyone can go out and forage for it. You're allowed to do that legally just for your own Great. use. If you do it commercially, you need a licence. Basically, the Queen owns the seabed, Crown Estate, so you need Does a Does she really? She crown. owns the seabed? Yeah. What, the entire British Isle seabed? Yeah, I think it's, uh, I might get my maritime law wrong, but I think it's 12 miles out. So anything you're doing from the seabed, you have to get a licence. And that comes, therefore, with uh, monitoring of the sustainability yeah. and everything else. So it is literally the Queen's own seaweed that... Uh, you need a royal take. warrant, I think. That's the dream. We'll get her <laughs> on it. Uh, well, I'm sure Prince Charles and, and, you know, the Duchess of Cornwall, I mean, I'm sure they're all over it because he's, he's so into sustainability. And you know organic Absolutely. farming, and you know, definitely, I, I think you need that little that little warrant on your pack here, which I've got in front of me. We'll work towards that. The, the Lizzo <laughs> approval is. is I can is certainly fast. support you. I, I I would endorse your um your your warranty hood or whatever it's called. Thank you. <laughs> um, but no, you're right. With sustainability as well. But does it not needing land or fresh water or fertilise it also absorbs a huge amount of carbon. So great in terms of a carbon sink, as they call it, so drawing down dioxide from the atmosphere. And it absorbs a lot of nutrients, so any excess nutrients in the seawater. So it's a really great way to have a truly sustainable food source, but that addresses also massive nutritional gaps in the modern diet yeah. that have loads of health benefits. So let's talk about that then. So why is seaweed so good for us? Why should we be considering eating it or taking it as a supplement, as a food supplement? What's seaweed got that's so special? So the seaweed we focus on, so there's about 10,000 different types in the world, so lots of different types, and we focus on one because of its sustainability, but also because of its immense sort of nutritional powerhouse. Mm -hmm. So we call it a natural whole food. There's nothing else in there but the seaweed in these capsules. They're called pure seaweed because they are literally... Yeah, I mean, I've got mine here. I have been taking them. Ever since we last Great. spoke, because you totally convinced me with the science about why I should need this. So, in fact, I'm going to have my, my daily capsule now. Just look Absolutely. look how colour coordinated I am. I mean, the, oh, atten the attention to detail that goes yeah. into these lives. You I mean, you've you just, <laughs> you've got no idea, really. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but as you said, the key, so all the nutrients are in there, but the absolutely key one is iodine. So iodine is a nutrient that a lot of people probably haven't heard of, but actually it's essential and you only get it from white fish particularly. There's a little bit in sort of salmon and other stuff, but mainly cod, cod and haddock, yeah. and then dairy. And you, we just don't eat enough. I actually have yeah. very little dairy and I have fish a few times a week, but it's generally, in most people, it's more salmon than anything else. Which yeah, is or oily fish. Food. You know, we're told to eat oily fish yeah. for the omega-3s, your herrings, your mackerel, yeah. sardines, all of that. And actually what you're saying is that iodine is in the white fish that we might yeah. not be eating so much of. Absolutely. So we actually developed, a writ. it takes five seconds. It's a test. It's an iodine test online, so anyone can go to it. We'll talk about it in a minute. Oh, brilliant. Five seconds, developed by a nutritionist, 
that just asks five questions around what you eat around dairy, eggs, cheese, fish. And I, if I wasn't taking the seaweed every day, you need mm. 150 micrograms of iodine each day. 150? 73, 150, I'm on 73. So less yes. than half, other than the fact I take the seaweed every day, so I'm, wow. I'm fine. Um, but iodine is essential, so you have to have iodine for your thyroid to work properly. Yeah. And your thyroid is this gland in the neck that produces these thyroid hormones, T3 and T4, and that three and four is the number of iodine atoms attached. So if you don't get enough iodine, you can't produce these hormones right. That affects energy, metabolism, skin, hair, and nails, brain function, all sorts of different aspects of your health and mm. wellness. And even if, if you look at the NHS website, the symptoms of an underactive thyroid, which is what can yeah. occur from not enough iodine, it is things like struggling to lose weight or weight gain, yeah. exhaustion, tiredness. So yeah. because it's so important in the body, it has loads of different effects. And the testimonials we get from people who start to take the capsules are fantastic. Like it's not a miracle Amazing. drug. You've got to give it a few weeks. It's just sure. a really healthy food in a convenient way. Yeah. And, you know, that is what really struck me, I think, was talking about iodine deficiency, which I've heard various research professors and academics talk about before, how concerned they are, particularly with women, because iodine yes. deficiency can seriously impact pregnancy and fetal development you know you can get all sorts of of issues happening if if you don't have iodine during pregnancy but beyond yeah. that affecting mental health affecting brain capacity as you say metabolism you know one of the things that i'm keen to work on you know i've been trying to kind of tone up and, and shape up a bit for summer and that was why i was particularly interested in in taking extra iodine um, because as we get older, and you know, I'm in my 50s, your metabolism slows down. And anything yeah. that I can help encourage in, in, a, in a natural way. And as you say, these little capsules, all there is in this capsule is ground up seaweed. Is that right? Nothing mm -hmm. else? Absolutely nothing else. Totally natural, organic, kosher, allergen free as well. So it's literally suitable for anyone. And Amazing. an important point to make is if you are uh, hypothyroidic, if you have an underactive thyroid, Obviously, speak to your doctor if you feel you need to, but this has got, each capsule has got as much iodine as around a portion of haddock. So if you've not been told to avoid seafood, it's totally fine yeah. because it's a, it's just a food in a capsule. Just That's a it. There's nothing synthetic or yeah. anything else. And we did a big study with Glasgow University Medical School, and what they did was compare synthetic iodine that you'd find in tablets and other types of supplements versus our seaweed in the capsule, and what they showed is it was two groups of women. The synthetic one is very quickly absorbed, but you excrete it very quickly in, in urine and sweat, basically. Mm. Whereas when it's in the natural food source and the seaweed is bound within the food matrix, you get this slower, more sustained release, and you excrete what you don't need. And that, that was published in the British Journal of Nutrition. Gosh. So, And it's, it's the same with any, you know, natural yeah. food sources are always worked better in the body yeah. than putting isolated synthetic nutrients in. Yeah. Very, very interesting. And just quickly covering off on that point of uh, hypothyroidism, and I'm not a medic, it's not my area of expertise at all, but it's very interesting that you say that if anybody is on any kind of medication, if they've been told just to eat normal foods, then this should be fine. Because as you say, it's the same yeah. amount of iodine that's in a portion of haddock, uh, yeah, or particularly absolutely. you know, in, in milk and dairy. So I know that a lot of people are going off dairy, I'm personally a big yeah. fan of dairy. You know, I, I drink milk, I have cheese, you know, I, I have proper whole milk all, all the time. But a lot of people over the years have, have started to avoid that. And I know that a lot of the synthetic kind of so-called plant milks, I mean, I think they should be called plant waters, actually, because they're, they're not really <laughs> bearing any resemblance to milk other than the colour. Um, but they're often not fortified with iodine. So, you know, wh where are you going to get that from? And I think for young women particularly, Absolutely. and older women, you know, going into midlife with, with falling metabolism, feeling sluggish, low energy levels, there's a lot of chat I can see on Instagram about energy levels, you know, maybe there is this lack of iodine, this basic nutrient in the diet. It, it really is. And, and that, that website I mentioned, the iodine test online. Honestly, mm. if it takes you 10 seconds, it's taking you too long. And it will tell you what what your rough iodine, your sort of uh, colliding content is in a day. There's a link there to our site. You know, and honestly, we, we are so confident with the results we get. 
that we yeah. offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on a product. Wow. So try it for 30 days. And if, it, if you're not feeling Great. better, and the first things people notice, because obviously aesthetically you tend to notice things better. Yeah, yeah, tell me. skin, hair and nails. People notice straight away skin's better. Really? Nails so all these health better. benefits, but actually you notice your, your, your skin first. That's quite good. Absolutely. And we've had that from teenagers whose acne suddenly clearing up because, you know, teenagers often don't eat the best diet and suddenly yeah. they're getting this uh, iodine in that they need. Um, and, and it's mainly women. And sadly, my hair is, uh, is long gone. But thicker hair is mm. one thing that women often comment on and nails growing thicker and stronger. Um, but then energy is the other one. And we've had yeah. people say who have been on exercise calorie control diets suddenly the weight starts shifting because they've, they've not changed anything else they just haven't been getting the iodine in that helps with the metabolism that helps with the thyroid yeah and suddenly your body's just working that bit more effectively yeah questions here um if you are eating a lot of fish i mean say you're eating kind of you know white fish two or three times a week which is pretty good going if you are you know is is there an additional need there are you going to see any extra benefit or would, would there be any harm in overdosing on iodine the, well you know you can take too much of everything obviously <laughs> but if you were having i mean the, the best thing is to do the test and and the iodine yeah. test online site that's a very good that's a, oh, that's a very no, good not point really. yeah because it's a natural source not really but give it a go and where and do we find this very, test very worst case Sorry. sorry, no, no, you, you, again, you go. So you, you you tell me worst case, and then I'll ask the question again. Yeah, well, so I'd rather avoid worst cases, but <laughs> very, very worst case. If, if it makes you feel unwell for any reason, which we, hand on heart, in nearly four years of doing this product, haven't had anyone reporting that, Brilliant. then just stop it. It's just yeah, a food. Course. Imagine if it's you went to yeah. southern Spain on holiday and you have fish every day because there's fresh fish. You wouldn't feel unwell from it. You're just eating a healthy food. But yeah. just stop and it will, yeah. and you'll feel better because it, it's just a food. And this is something, it doesn't bioaccumulate in the body. It's not like a fat-soluble vitamin. You need iodine every day, don't you? It, the thyroid does store iodine. So if you miss the odd day, it's not the end of the world. Mm. But it is a consi with any supplementation, consistency is key. Yeah. So take it, you know, I, they come in these blister packs. I keep them in my, my, my I love seaweed coffee cup in the morning. So you just remember to pop it out and take it. Yeah. Um, and and it, for and anybody... Just like, mm -hmm. Go on. I was just saying, all, taking in the morning is great with your breakfast. It all digests together. And yeah. then you've got, you've, you've done it. You know, you've got all that nutrition in at the very beginning. Yeah. And what about giving it to younger members of the family? It's fine. You know, children need iodine too. They it's do. essential, as you mentioned as well. Pregnancy, you actually need more because you're supporting that fetal development. But with young children, because they are totally natural, the capsules, you can just open it up, empty it into smoothies, into a bolognese, into something. It tastes of seaweed. You know, we can't hide the fact it is seaweed. Yeah, so it's not like to it put is. sugar in. Um, <laughs> but it, 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 if, like, I will put them in a smoothie sometimes, and if you're bl blitzing it up and then drinking it, you don't really taste it. If you left it a few hours, yeah, the flavour will evolve. But we sell it actually as ingredients into food manufacturers and others as a flavor enhancer and salt replacer. Because mm. seaweed has really good umami properties like umami. flavor enhancer. Yeah. So adding it to tomato based uh, sauces, things like that. Could I good. open up a capsule then and put it in my bolognese if I'm cooking? Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. Add it near the beginning, it'll then infuse. Chefs use analogies like if you were to use anchovies yeah. to make like a Caesar dressing, or often with lamb, Ooh. you can use anchovies. You, you won't get, actually there's a fishy fish, but you won't get that fishiness, you just get that depth of flavour. Um, and the seaweed so works in a similar way, it gives that depth of flavour. Obviously, yeah. if you were to add it at the end, you'd get a, a seaweed flavour, but if you, you add it at the beginning and let it infuse... I'm so it going to do that. I am absolutely going to do that. And what a great way to enrich foods. And actually, I saw some chat there about people not liking to swallow capsules. And of course, you know, as you know, you've said, Craig, you can, you can open it and... Um, and add it to smoothies and things. But what I did for my youngest, he's 11, and he takes various capsules of different things and, and has trouble swallowing them. So I just put it on a, a spoonful of yogurt. So I literally just get a teaspoon of yogurt, his favorite yogurt, pop the capsule in it. It was actually a nurse that told me this trick. And because uh, she uses it to get her kids to, to take all sorts of things that they have to take, medicines and things. So you can do it with tablets. 
and they just swallow it and it just goes down and don't even notice it. So, you know, that might yeah, be another yeah. option for people who, you know, who have difficulty Definitely. taking capsules. We have customers who actually empty it into yogurt and, and the sort, I don't know if it's the acidity yeah. of the yogurt, I mean, it cancels out a lot of the more savoury flavours. So Ooh. experiment with it, but they, they're not yeah. big capsules No, at no, all, they're not. I mean, you can see here, they're, but, they're not huge ones. I mean, I've got seriously big capsules and <laughs> these are not them. <laughs> But some of them, like obviously, my I've got four children, but my ten year old, he has really started taking interest in it. But he's still a bit too young; he doesn't like swallowing the capsules, so we empty it into smoothies or whatever. Mm. Uh, but as they get a bit older, it's it's fine; They're really not not hard. And do you think, in years gone by, did we have more iodine in things like our soil? You know, things like agriculture and modern fertilizers. You know, in the old days, obviously, people were using seaweed mashed up to put on the land to fertilise, which Absolutely. then gets absorbed and taken up by the roots of the plant, and we then get better nutritious food because of it. So much of that has been destroyed with modern agriculture. Do you think our ID really levels are, are, are falling in the UK because of that, and globally? Yeah. Definitely. And as you say, people would add seaweed to the land or fertilise, like a natural fertilising you know, manure and other things, that would recycle and there was a study done with potatoes, I think, where they use seaweed as the fertiliser and the potatoes then would take up some of that iodine from mm. the soil because it's coming from the seaweed. But with very simplistic fertilisers, which don't have the micronutrients, the trace elements, then it, our, the topsoil is just devoid of it. So yeah. we did a, a study that showed that nuts, you get a very small amount of iodine in some nuts, but mm. the highest of all the nuts was peanuts for iodine. Mm. But the equivalent of one capsule in terms of iodine, is 1.75 kilos, kilograms of peanuts, right? And that just shows how little there is. Even in the best nut for iodine, Gosh. one point, let's like, say, nearly two kilos just for ease yeah. of mass. That is a, you couldn't eat that many nuts in the day. No. Um, I think that's a really interesting point day. because people often say, oh, you know, food supplements, they're so expensive and whatever. But if you compare what you're getting, the value for money of the absolute nutrients that we need that are essential. They're not like, oh, I might quite like to have that. It's actually your body needs this. If you had to buy that in food, or, you know, you talk about, yes, it's in white fish, or whatever, but, you know, that's expensive and there's all the sustainability issues and everything that go with that. You know, you're, you're talking about something that's actually incredibly good value. And what I like absolutely. about it is it's evidence-based and I know exactly what I'm getting. You know, if we buy fruit and veg and even fish, you know, you don't really know what's in it. You don't know how long it's sat on the shelf. You don't know how it's been processed. Absolutely. And, and, you know, with and this, it says well, on the pack exactly what is here. So I know what I'm getting and I like to read labels. I like to be sure what I'm putting into my body. It, it, importantly, it's our own production. We're not just buying in any old seaweed and putting in. So we test every single batch for mm. iodine, but for aspects of safety, like heavy metals, uh, microbial stuff, yeah. everything we need to do. And But we're testing that, and that's going in the capsule. And as you say, on the back of pack, and in, in each pack there's these leaflets, which have got yeah. all the information about itself, where on, where the seaweed's yes. from, the health Stop benefits, the research we do. Um, so it's all about confidence. You know, we're asking people to trust me, to trust us, to put a capsule in the mouth because we think it'll be good for them. So it yeah. is totally natural, but it's all backed by science. Mm. There's nothing we say that isn't approved health claims, like by the, the authorities, yep. or re and research backed as well. So well, I I, I wouldn't be today, supporting you here if it wasn't evidence based. I mean, that's absolutely. that's that's not the deal for me at all. Um, and talking of deals, actually, you have given us twenty percent off with our Liz Loves. Yeah. So we are super and, and thankful. Should, no, thank you. And I should say as well, because cause consistency is key, we always say, please subscribe. You, so with a subscription, it's 15% off. So normally it's 19.95 for a two-month supply. Two months, that's 15, good value. It's really good. So let's say full price, £10 a month. Yep. Um, then, then if you subscribe, which you can cancel, which you can basically pause at any time, okay, uh, is fifteen percent off. And then with Liz Loves at the checkout, at the checkout, you get another twenty percent off. No way. So it's a huge thirty-five percent off. Absolutely, and you can, like I say, you can cancel that at any time, um, and you've got. Craig, that's money amazing. So it, yeah, it's that really is amazing for something that's going to give so many benefits. 
No, absolutely. I'm even... So Thank you. you're talking about, because I'm just looking at the website now, you're checking it. Don't don't take it back now because you've said it now. <laughs> you can't go. Oh, actually, sorry, Liz. I've just looked at that again. It doesn't actually quite work for us. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. It's a bit too good a deal. Mm. Um, but no, I think it, it's basically. You know, you're talking about around thirteen pound fifty six with the Liz Loves Code on a subscription for two months. For That's two months. I'm trying to work out the maths per day now. Well, I should be good with my cognitive Oh, health. don't. Well, uh, yeah, it's well, I'm hopeless with numbers. 22, 22 pence a day. 22 pence a day. I mean, what can you buy food-wise for that, of that quality? For a huge amount of nutrition. And, yeah, and as I yeah. say, try it for three weeks because you've got a 30-day money-back guarantee. Okay. If you're not feeling better, even if you've used it, you know, obviously you need to use it to try it. Send it back and we'll give you a full product refund. Okay. That's how much, you know, we believe in, in the product. Yeah. Um, and, you know, and like I say, subscribe, but you can cancel it yeah. during the first month, after the second yeah. month, whenever yeah. you want. Brilliant. Now, I can see you behind you. I mean, our friends on Facebook and YouTube can't see this, but behind Craig is, is the little box of magic here, pure seaweed. Um, but you've also got a pinky one that I can see behind yes. you. Do you want to talk about what else? I mean, when we go onto your website to look this up, will we find other things other than this? There is. So there's three products at the moment. There's, there's others coming very soon. But the, the second one we launched is a, is a beautiful orange one, mm -hmm. which is basically exactly the same as the pure seaweed one. So it's got the same amount of seaweed, but we've added a natural plant-based sources of B12, vitamin B12 and D3. Oh. Uh, to support immune health. But like as that we, sound. everyone mm -hmm. realises, it is essential not just to take loads of vitamin D, but to look after your wider wellness if you want your immunity yeah, to be absolutely. really strong and supported. So this capsule is all about saying, yep, you get all of those benefits of the iodine for your thyroid, for your energy, for your mm -hmm. skin, etc. But also you're supporting your immunity. So if you feel you need that bit more immune boost, then there's that one yep. to take and get a two-month supply. And then the one that is the newest is our menopause support. Yes. Nice purpley pink. Um, I and thought I recognised. Really... Remind me what that's got in it as well. So, it, again, it's all about the wonder of seaweed. So it's all that nutrition powerhouse of seaweed. So thyroid health, skin health, etc. But then we've added as well um, B vitamins. Mm -hmm. So they do lots of things around hormonal balance, um, skin health, energy, etc. We've yeah. got vitamin C, vitamin D3, and then a red clover for the isoflavones, like those phytoestrogens. Interesting. So I'm just looking day, here. Yeah. Agatha is saying the menopause version has cut the severity of my hot flushes, and I've only been on them about two weeks. That's a pretty good it, testimony, isn't it? really is it? amazing how... So we were getting incredible feedback from our pure seaweed capsule right. from women who were going through the menopause, and it's any stage of the menopause, peri, during, and then into later life as well. Mm -hmm. And then... But, we, you know, there are wider issues as well with the menopause. So we sort of broke it down in four ways. There's mental fatigue, that mental fog, mm. brain fog people talk about. So the various nutrients support mental performance, cognitive health, psychological function. Then there's just general tiredness. So the iodine and the B vitamins, it's about reducing tiredness and fatigue, getting that energy and metabolism up. Yep. Then there's bone health and muscle health, mm. as well as skin health. So how you look, and as well as your, your bone and muscle structure, which is so important, especially as estrogen drops away. Um, and finally, it was the um, hormonal balance, so the B yeah. vitamins as well as the thyroid hormones. So it gives this really all-round, totally natural way, and we, we're pretty confident we're the only all-natural menopause-focused supplement on the market from yeah. everything we've seen. Um, and, it, and it's mm. really just addressing those symptoms as well as the red clover for the isoflavones, yeah. which very important as well yeah so yeah something for everyone hopefully very very interesting now there are obviously going to be a lot of very specific questions and people who are at different stages and have their own kind of personal health issues and things going on do you have any kind of helpline or, or contact details that people can ask specifically if they've got something private perhaps to talk about absolutely so we, we've got an in-house nutritionist sarah jane mm. she's a registered oh, associate nutritionist so she you're more than welcome to messages over social media so it's at dr seaweed so it's doctor spelled in full d-o-c-t-o-r seaweed so you can send us a message over facebook instagram twitter or if you just email hello at drseaweed.com, so again, D-O-C-T-O-R, seaweed.com, um, then Sarah 
Jane can get in touch Fantastic. and obviously everything totally confidential. And we've done work, for example, there's a lady uh, whose, whose company is called Miss Menopause. She's the menopause educator. Mm. And she's been fabulous educating me. I'm obviously not Good. going to go through the menopause myself, but it's something that obviously in the media and, and with the likes of yourselves talking about it more openly mm. and the different symptoms and how different people experience it, it's been mm. a huge education and journey for me and, and also developing this product. But equally, there is a sense, because we get a lot of questions about it, there is still a sense of people don't necessarily want to talk about it that much or how, how do we help? And I guess what we offer mm. with uh, the Weed and Wonderful product is a totally natural way to try, and it might be further down the line people want to try HRT mm. or other yeah. uh, mechanisms and interventions. Yeah. But I could take this menopause product. There's nothing in there that means I'm suddenly going to no. grow a pepper breast. You know, it, it, it's <laughs> totally next, just nutrients, but it's they're targeted just, just your food. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I, I I'm take HRT and I also have my iodine supplements and I also have my, you know, D3 and my B12 and, and all the rest of it. You know, it's, it's just so, so important. And I just think as we age, and we've talked about this before, that the our ability to create nutrients and to absorb them decreases. We lose muscle mass. We lose our ability to create collagen. I mean, you know, the list is endless. And actually, you know, putting a little bit back on a daily basis is just so it, worthwhile. Such a really good investment. Is. You're investing in yourself. I mean, what better Absolutely. investment is there, really? And that's the best way to look at it. And, and a totally yeah. natural source. Like you said, the absorption. So the seaweed's really high in fiber. You're feeding those gut microbes. It helps with yeah. absorption. You know, it's a great prebiotic as well. So just oh that goodness. whole natural food source is, is great. Yeah. Um, and again, all scientifically backed claims that we make on whether it's the pure seaweed, the immunity product or the menopause product. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Craig, it's so good to chat to you and you are just such a, a wealth of knowledge. And thank you for Absolutely. reminding me, actually, about how I can use it in cooking how I need to make sure that my kids are topped up, particularly my girls, my son who is, well, he says he's dairy intolerant, but that's a whole other story. Um, but, you know, may not be having enough iodine. And, yeah. you know, this is just such a simple way, isn't it, for the family? It really is. And if, you know, I, I, I don't know, I want to know the story about your son now, but I don't, I have hardly any dairy because it just doesn't agree with me for whatever yeah. reason. Um but that is the main traditional source of iodine for the mm. British population, and, and we, yet we're cutting it out. So, yeah, mm. we, we'll put on, on our sites of the link to this test, which, like I said, takes seconds to do. It's mm. iodinetest.online. Yeah, so uh, d can you d tell me the, um, the website address for that, because I'm going to get my lot to do that too. So it's iodinetest.online. Oh, dot .online. I've not, not heard of that one before. Okay, iodinetest.online. No, Brilliant. Yeah. And you can just so do that and just see whether you're eating enough iodine. Take you a few seconds to do, and then it'll give you a result. And then there's a link to our site. And then obviously, if you decide to go ahead, use that link. Subscribe if you want to, and then use the Liz Loves code on, on any, whether you're subscribing or not, and you get that 20% yeah. off. I can't believe that. I mean, that's really knocked me for six, actually, 35%. I think you, you must be top of the league with all our Liz uh, Loves. That's brilliant. Oh. Just, just very quickly before we go, um, I used to use your oils your infused yeah. oils, do you still do them? We, we actually stopped them in the start of last year because they, they were in Lakeland and other shops, but with lockdown, it uh. just, they're a real browser product. And to be honest, selling online because they were glass, it was such a nightmare. Yeah, so sure. this is why we focus much more on the supplements and expanding that range out. I shall make my own hungry. seaweed oil. I could infuse my own oil, couldn't you I? You really can. Put Just the get, capsules used, in, in, in some nice olive oil. Definitely. Or we used, um, what we used in the product was an organic rapeseed oil, which mm. worked really well because it's quite a bland flavour, rapeseed oil, yeah. um, compared to some olive oil, so that it infuses really well. Mm. Um, no, that's all you need. It's like making a chilli oil, you just leave it in for a bit. But um, it's much more of a culinary application than a nutrition and health one. Yeah, sure. I love that. I used to put it on my eggs in the morning. I, I used know, to drop it, it onto my good. scrambled eggs or just pop it into a boiled egg. 
But I should be making my own now using your capsules. Thank you very much. I'm sure you'll do an even better job. <laughs> um, but no, thanks for that. That was great. And um, if, like I say, if anyone has questions, I'm more than welcome to contact us Thank over you. social media or, or through our website, thedrseaweed.com. And uh, yeah, we welcome all questions yeah. because it helps us develop and advance. Fantastic. And I'm hoping very much that you will move from the northeast to the Outer Hebrides at some point in May. Yeah. And I, I can actually... I'll definitely visit. I'm not tough enough to live there. No, so. not, no, no, no. When I meant, I didn't mean move there completely and your lovely four children and wife and everybody might have something to say about that. Um, yeah. But uh, but that you might be there so that we could actually meet in real life, which would be exciting. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I'd love that. Just let, let us know dates. and uh, Yeah, we'll make yeah sure I think it's going to be around the middle of May. I know that my team are talking to Ishka as well, yes. which is a lovely seaweed fantastic. skincare brand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping to be able to combine, you know, a few things up there and and uh, come and take some pictures and, and maybe do a live up there. fall in love. It's the most, no one I know who's been hasn't just loved it. It's like a, a wilderness of the UK. You know, you feel, it's just, it's so beautiful. Wow. It really is. Wow, um, but wait. it'll put the wind you're experiencing to shame on some days. Yeah. Well, um, I, do you know, I have to say, don't want to speak too soon, but I think we have deterred the thunder because it's there it's not raining. There were a few drops and at one point halfway through and I thought, oh gosh, what's going to happen? But no, I think we're all right. It's all calm. I feel very calm. Keep taking seaweed. It makes everything well. Even the everything weather. better. <laughs> Craig, it's lovely to chat. Thank Thanks you very much. so much for joining us. So interesting. So informative. Yeah. Love it. Thank you. Speak to you soon. Take Cheers. care. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. You're going to have to click off because otherwise I, I, will do. I, I click everybody off and then I get into trouble. So interesting. Yes, Rachel, there will be a replay. What we do with all our lives, because we know that a lot of people kind of dip in and dip out and can't watch the whole thing, is that they go on to um, Lazar Wellbeing on Instagram, if that's where you're watching at the moment. And uh, I think they stay up on the grid for about a week, but then they get stored. There's a, a little, From memory, I think there's a little TV kind of symbol and if you click on that, then that has all the archive. Okay, so nothing, nothing will disappear. And the same with Facebook. Facebook, I think, just sort of works chronologically, doesn't it? You can just scroll back and see past episodes. And the same with um, with YouTube as well. So that's all. That's all good. Very, very interesting and lovely little leaflet that comes actually with all of that that explains everything that Craig talked about. And uh, I have to say, I had really not. I don't think taken on board the amazing discount isn't that amazing 35 percent i mean that is seriously good value and i shall put mine away because i do have my one a day with my iodine and uh, you know i feel it's always you know I, I take a lot of things and i do a lot of things and i experiment with a lot of things always because that's kind of my job um but i have to say that it just gives that extra little edge of everything you know, I, I put it all together. You know, it's hard to take one thing out of the other. But I think what, for me, the, the, the point that really I always uh, go by personally is I'll try something for a month and I'll, you know, sometimes jot it down, sometimes I just make a mental note of how I feel. And then if I stop, I notice the difference. So that's the key, isn't it? If you If you try something, um, you may instantly think, oh, wow, this is so much better. You know, this is obviously plugging a gap that I didn't realise that I was missing, a piece of the jigsaw. And that's, for me, that was what happened with glutathione. When I started taking it, it was like in instant. My body was going, oh, thank you. You've given us some glutathione. So that was an immediate thing for me. Other things are a bit sort of slower. And then if I stop, I think, oh, I'm not feeling quite as energetic as I was, you know. And I think the whole energy iodine Thing. I've, I've been posting on Instagram, as many of you on Instagram will know, over on my personal one, which is Liz L. Me, just a bit about exercise and about motivation and about how I try and do my exercise first thing in the morning when I get up, because otherwise the day just gets really busy and I, I just don't have time with everything else that's going on. And so many have, have written in to say, I wish I had motivation, I have no energy, I feel so flat, I feel so tired. And I think some of the key things that have really helped me, and I think we should be really exploring, 
as Craig mentioned, B12 is absolutely key for energy, vitamin B12. And I think as people move away from eating meat and eggs and dairy, which is, you know, all the animal produce naturally so rich in B12, it's very easy to get a deficiency in B12. And that can occur over years. It can take maybe two, three, four years even. Um, when you're deficient before your supplies run out and then you suddenly kind of crash. So that's something to be aware of. Iodine, obviously, again, really key, um, what we were talking about there, particularly in later life, um, or if you're not eating, you know, white fish every day. Uh, and iron is another key one for women. I know that we've spoken about Better You. We also have a Liz Loves discount with Better You. So again, iron, the available form of heme iron in red meat, for example, you know, if you're not eating that regularly, you could be running risk of low levels of iron. And then the other things that have helped me, the Youth and Earth NMN, which I've written about in Lizar Wellbeing magazine, which I think is fantastic. That's something that we lose as we age. I have a little spoonful of that every morning. So, you know, these are all things that, all, you know, put them all together. Having a good night's sleep obviously means that you wake up a bit more refreshed. So, you know, getting a good sleep routine, there's loads and loads of information on Lizard Wellbeing about how to get a better night's sleep, all the different sleep strategies that you can try, herbs that can help, magnesium, magnesium baths, magnesium tablets, lavender, you know, lots and lots of different things um, that we can do. So, you know, putting it all together. And what I've also done, talking about putting it all together, if you do want a bit of a kickstart and you're thinking, it's coming into spring, you know, hopefully... Things are changing, the weather's brightening and the daffodils are growing and all of that is making us feel hopefully a little bit more cheerful despite some of the really terrible news that we're hearing of the rest of the world. But I think this is a good time to start thinking about how we can renew and refresh and give ourselves greater resilience, physical and mental strength as well. And this is actually, um, it's not a particularly good printout because my printer cut most of it off, but I printed out my e-guide. It's called A Stronger, Slimmer You. And I put this together a couple of years ago. You'll find it on the Zoe Wellbeing website. And there's just so much in here. I mean, that's just, you know, a few of the chapters. You can obviously have it as a download um, or you can print it out. But there's lots of really simple exercises that you can do at home. These are the things that I do all the time you know, how to get your arms in better shape, lots and lots of exercises, you know, quads, stretches, all of that. And then it goes on to talk about uh, recipes and looking at things like high fat, low carb. I talk about keto, lots of great recipes. This is a roasted cauliflower recipe with chili and orange butter. That is absolutely delicious. I've just been reminded of that one. Um, a nice fish one there, mackerel with raw, warm blackberry. Um, and yeah, really delicious. So that's anyway, that's all in there. Uh, talking a lot about gut health as well. And then I think at the end, yeah, at the end, there are lots of whoops, lots of links there as well that you can click on for podcasts and things that can help. So if you are feeling that you're a bit flat and you want a bit of extra motivation, take a look because there are some things in there that could really help. Um, could I tell you what I take morning and night? Yeah, I did a little YouTube video actually on what I take morning and night. And I think there is a link on Lizard Wellbeing of the supplements that I take. I certainly wrote it for the website and I think it's still up there on Liz Loves. There's a whole section on supplements. Um, and yeah, so uh, I wrote there about what I take. So yeah. I hope you enjoy. A couple of other things that I have also started taking. Yeah, it was a hard one not to, actually, after listening to her, and that's Professor Dawn Sim. MTHK, the eye vitamins. I think about her all the time here because it can be very, very bright. Obviously, I'm on the equator at the moment, and my eye health, thinking about the difference. And she challenged me. She said, Liz, take two of these a day and tell me at the end of two weeks if your eyes are better. And you know what, Professor Sim, I have to tell you that they are. So there you go. So this has got very special carotenoids in lutein and zeaxanthin, along with this maki berry, which she gets from, is it Peru or is it Chile? Do you remember? It is Chile. <laughs> it's not Chile, actually, it's really warm here anyway. 
ha, ha. Uh, talking about something else that's chilly before I go, I hope you caught my live with the brilliant Catherine Wilson from Olivia Wilson talking about micro-needling, derma-rolling. This was on Tuesday. And these little chilly gadgets, these little implements that uh, they look a bit surgical, don't they? They've actually come out of my fridge, so they are chilly. And honestly, these are so cooling. If you've got puffy eyes or you've been up late, these are phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I love them. I really, really love them. <laughs> so I don't know whether anybody else has been using these, but oh, they're so good. And what I noticed, because I was doing my live with her, I think I'd had these out of the fridge for over an hour and they were still really cold. They've got, I don't know if you can hear. Can you hear that? They've got some sort of liquid inside them and they're just brilliant for doing your facial massage and your lymphatic drainage. And they are so cooling. I know, Nikki, they make me laugh too. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, I can hear the rain. Can you hear the rain? Rain is coming. And the other thing that I've been trying, just a quick FYI, quick update. Um, this I talked about on Tuesday with Catherine. This is the Derma Roller. Do you remember if you missed it? It's got these little teeny, teeny little needles in here. Um, and she also gave us a discount. Yeah, 10% off everything on her website. So I went on... Two nights ago, I did exactly as she said. I cleaned my face and then just did this very lightly. You've got to be very light with it. Don't be tempted to press too hard. Really, really light. And then I used my serum and I did actually use Lily's mask, the LED mask afterwards. And I did wake up looking very glowy. I was very pleased. And then I also used this one on my hands because I'm on a bit of a mission to get the backs of my hands in better shape. So this is the body one, it's just called skin. It's got slightly longer needles. And I just rolled this. And if you're going to do this, and I actually did it on my arms here as well, because I've got some pigmentation marks here from where I've been out in the sun for so many years, particularly coming out to Kenya so often. Um, now, word of warning, I was a bit overzealous with this. I think I rubbed just a little bit too hard. Um, you don't have to rub at all. You just literally are rolling it really, really gently. So I just did this all over and then I just put just a nice serum on the backs of my hands and my arms. And definitely it's something that I'm going to be carrying on doing regularly. So I will report back. You like my rings? Thank you. Yeah, I thought I was picking up all my kind of greeny bluey rings to match what I'm wearing today to go along with, um, with, with Dr. Seaweed. I thought I'd try and be colour coordinated, you see. All very organised, aren't we? Now, I still have not yet seen the brand new issue of the Liz Our Wellbeing magazine, which is very green if you've got it. Thank you, all, uh, everybody who's been sharing pictures on social media. It's been lovely to see where your magazines have been arriving, and I'm really longing to see it in, uh, in real life. I've got the digital version, obviously, and I've seen it, you know, I read every page and pass every page before it goes to print um, but I haven't actually seen the printed version yet but just to say if you have not yet subscribed and you're fancying a subscription or maybe you want to give a gift subscription maybe to your mum for Mother's Day wouldn't that be fun uh, there's an amazing offer which I've just spotted on our website and you get four free issues yeah four what a bargain that is so basically you subscribe with direct debit and you get six issues for the price of five. Okay, so that's one free issue, basically. And then, as a special bonus, you get three free back issues sent to you. So essentially, you're getting four issues paid for free, which is, I think, £24 worth of value. So if you want somebody to catch up on the world of Lizelle well-being, you know, say it's your mum, your sister, your friend, whoever, um, that would be a fantastic way to introduce them because not only do they get the current issue, but they also get the three archive issues as well. So you're starting them off with a whole library of four issues to get them going. I think that's absolutely brilliant. 
Um, so yeah, so just go and take a look at it. So if you go over to Liz Our Wellbeing, uh, the website, there's a little icon at the top. It says buy the magazine. If you click on that and it gives you lots of options. So there's all, there's lots of other subscription gifts actually. So if you don't fancy that, if you've already got your back issues and you're perhaps wanting to send a gift to somebody else, um, one of the other options is the drops of balance. I'm sorry about the tatty packet. This has been in my bag for a while now. Um, love the drops of balance. This is another great British fab female founder led brand. This contains ashwagandha and lemon balm and just lovely calming herbs. And when you're feeling a bit anxious and you know doing that thing, I've heard that, that expression recently, which I think is a great expression, doom scrolling. Have you heard that? Doom scrolling. We're all guilty of it, aren't we? Try not to do it in the evening because it just puts you in such a bad frame of mind for getting a good night's sleep. But it's when you kind of look at the news feeds or whatever and you're just doom scrolling all this sort of just dreadful, dreadful news that's coming in all the time. Obviously, stay aware of the news, but, you know, the doom scroll, I think, is something to be avoided. Anyway, when do th things do seem to be a bit much, you can take a moment to unwind with Drops of Balance, which is something that I love. I also love their Slumber Drops. We do have a discount on Life Armour, I think still there i think it's um let me just check uh life armor yeah 15 percent. so if you want to get your drops you can buy them 15 percent off if you want these free then you can get them as a subscription gift i think they're about 22 pounds i think normally um anyway that is just about it for today thank you very much to craig rose dr seaweed dr craig rose for being with us i'm so looking forward to going to the isle of lewis isn't that going to be great? I think it's scheduled for my birthday week in May. So that will be a really nice birthday present to myself to go up and see the, see the seaweed and perhaps do a live from there and do some um, Instagramming and all of that. So you can kind of bring that to life for everybody. Um, I'm being asked here about omega-3s because obviously that's really important um, to, uh, to talk about. And the brand that I really like is called Bear Biology. I've spoken about them before. It's a lovely fab, female founder-led brand, Bear Biology, and they have excellent oils, really, really good quality omega-3, and we do have a discount with them, which is good because good quality omega-3 oils are expensive. Um, but Bear Biology, you get 15% off. So, And I think they might even have some things on sale at the moment. So it's a very good time to go and have a look. If you're feeling all sort of C-focused and want to get your iodine and your omega-3s, then that would be a very good time to do it. Um, thank you very much for being with me today. Just to say, actually, talking about uh, lemon balm, as I was a moment ago, in these Drops of Balance, I hope you've had a chance to see my little video that went live on YouTube. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, you might have already seen it. And that's with the amazing Deborah Coulson, who's the founder of the Nairobi Physic Garden. I went there and did some filming with her. And that was just really a, just an amazing place to be. And one of the things that she grows there is lemon balm. And interestingly, that's one of the things that the medics have actually told Lily to be taking. Lily, who's just getting this appalling, ongoing, chronic pain, autoimmune condition. Um, but she now has a lemon balm plant and she takes it around with her and she makes fresh lemon balm tea with it. So really good. Uh, so that is on YouTube if you haven't yet seen it. I've also just filmed a little reel for Instagram, which I think might go out later on today, which is just a bit of fun. So you might see that tomorrow. If you're watching me in real time, tomorrow being Friday, it will be time for the Friday Five. And that's a really good lesson with an amazing woman called Alex Bell, who runs Ecoscapes here in Kenya. Do take a listen. It's quite a long Friday Five. I think it's probably about an hour. So it's a good one for the weekend. If you've got any car journeys planned or uh, just some cooking in the kitchen or hanging out, having a nice long bath or whatever, I recommend it because there's lots of different subjects that we talk about. Um, and make sure that you're on the mailing list for the free newsletter that comes out on a Friday. Liz, our well-being, send out a free newsletter. The team um, and I write this and put it together. It's got lots of good stuff in it, lots of links, lots of free recipes for the weekend, podcast links, offers, competitions, all of that. Uh, it should be with you. If you're in the UK, it'll be with you around tea time on a Friday. 
because we thought that was a nice time, unwinding for the weekend. So usually around four o'clock, that's when Amy presses the go button and everything is sent out. If you haven't got it, please check your spam folder because sometimes they can lurk in there. And if you've signed up recently and you're still not receiving it, do please let my team know because there was a little glitch on the website um, and I'd hate you to miss out. You can always email the team, hq at lizardwellbeing.com, hq at lizardwellbeing dot com will get my team and they will be able to help you if you need to um, to get onto the newsletter anyway that is it uh, for today i will be back with you live on tuesday talking about something completely different very very relevant i know that you're going to be fascinated i'll give you a little clue i think for this one i'm going to need to be back in my bedroom okay that's all i'm going to say uh, but I think you're going to enjoy it, something a bit different, uh, which I think is going to be hugely useful and valuable for everybody. Anyway, sending you lots of love. Thank you. Thank you for all the hearts. Sending you lots of hearts back. Really nice to see you all. And I'm glad the rain stayed away and we got to do the live together. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>